There's the two K dash players here. We got Yamazaki versus Andy up on the point position. Uh, this is uh, quite an interesting matchup. Don't see it as often, right? Both characters are rare. Solid choices. Andy's problem is that he's just like white bread, right? He's just boring to play. Uh, and Yamazaki just has a lot of moves, so you can kind of get confused on some of the inputs, but we'll see how it goes. Already yeah, Andy is a character that can threaten you from every range. That's one of the pluses that he has, right? That fireball, that elbow charge. Oh yeah, it's all good tools. I mean, he's got a lot of uh, mix up heavy tools too, right? He's got that fastball. He can actually cancel the startup of his elbow into fireball. Let me see another elbow there. This is looking nice in the chip out. Yeah, Charahadon. I think that's how he says it. Let's go. Yeah, really clean game number one there. Look, he saw his girl got in Street Fighter and he's trying to make a good impression, all right? <laughs> I'm saying, right? He's like, put me in the stage. <laughs> Can't wait to see him. Also, he got the TNS colorway on too. I see you, Andy. I like the harassment here with the fireball. The, the balance between throwing out the fireball and also harassing with the elbow has been very good so far in Kendrick's car. He's really keeping Dragon on their toes, but does get caught by an eye trigger. Oh, okay. He bit on the first wake up there. If you got, yeah, if you're game Dragon, you definitely got to do as best you can with that confirm. Looking for the next big one to get the hit. Nice Sabari 2A though, just to get out of that pressure in the corner. Oh, no, sir. The light punish though, only went for the 2A into an elbow. Ooh, that should be it. No. Quite, and Kendrick's that smart. Back up, create a little bit of space. Force Dragon to come to you, but he does and scores the throw. Yeah, the run up throw. Big part of K-Dash's gameplay. We see a lot of K-Dash players here at TNS love to go for it. And uh, it's a good tool. I mean, he's got some great pressure. Hard to deal with his uh, Iron Trigger follow-ups. The overhead, the EX version, it gives him multiple hits. It could be a menace. You see that K-Dash immediately getting out the corner. He's like, nah, don't keep me here. All right, into a clean throw. And man, K-Dash too, you gotta, you gotta have active defense because he will just maul your guard gauge. And active defense is what we're seeing here from Kendricks. Anti-air doesn't even need to. Okay, my game dragon trying to get as much as he can, right? This should be a dead K dash, and I like that using the advanced strike guard point to just get through that move. Ooh. Oh no, but a big whiff there on the two C means that Kendricks is gonna take the round and is now sitting at max meter here with K dash, ready to cash it all in on Rio. Oh yeah, somebody's cashing something in the moment. <laughs> Ooh. It's that big old T-Pole stance CD. Uh, hop CD, excuse me. Yeah, spend it. Why not? Yeah, advance cancel. He drive to chain drive. Put the shades on because your future too bright, baby. One inch punch for the kill. Mm. Oh, tried to go for the BD fireball. Didn't quite work out. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> not like That was this. the moment to delete K-Dash from the face of the earth. <laughs> A little overkill, actually. But hey, still gets the job done. Yeah, it didn't work out, unfortunately, but I like the idea. The Shermsta is your girl. Well, yeah. Do a more. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shermie, no. <laughs> I can't watch, bro. Can't watch. Look away. This is a, a glimpse of the future, bro. They're going to nerf her to hell next week. I hope they buff her. <laughs> I didn't see. She's uh, she could use a little bit of help. She's still a strong character. Let me not get too crazy. I don't want Shermie players like, yeah, oh, this should be kill. Yeah, spend it. Mm -hmm. Level and two also, is more than enough. Yep. I appreciate the sense of urgency there from Kendrick's. Not letting us watch the whole climax. You know, just going right into the next game. And stay on the ground. Dang. You can get up by your. <laughs> All right, and just like that, both players locking in for the rematch. Yeah, no, no changes needed. Uh, just maybe a mindset change. We really got to get the the ground game started on this. Andy, Andy was swarming with the elbows and the fireballs, and heavy elbow is actually minus. Uh, so got to look out for that one to be able to punish it. Yeah, 100%. Yamazaki, unfortunately, didn't carry the his weight, right? It was really all put on K-Dash and Ryo. Yeah. Okay, good anti-air. We're getting some good ground. Nice bait. But oh, no. 
too early. Yeah, a frame or so later, we could have gotten a clean punish. But I do like the uh, how active Game Dragon is being now. I do too. And oh my god, that was an interesting interaction. Nearly getting over the snake arm. The Shulkin. Oh no! Gotta but Kendrick's, Kendrick's is just playing so slow and solid, right? You're not seeing a ton of movement, just really being a wall, putting out buttons, putting out fireballs. Yeah, I mean, it's the best one to play Andy. That fireball is so deceiving. This, the slow one is incredibly slow, and the fast one is incredibly fast. So, like, the timing throws off everybody. And absolutely threw off Game Dragon there, right? Who was constantly trying to go for the pocket, but just couldn't seem to get the timing down. Yeah, he was really trying to pocket his fireball. <laughs> No minutes, Mike. Follow up. Kind of up to K Dash here, right? To really put in the work and do it effectively against Andy. Yeah, at least try to go into the next round with sizable health. Ooh, overshoot. That's the punish we needed, just a little Ooh. too slow. Another overshoot as well there, too, from Game Dragon. Hesitant. There's the combo. Just trying to wrap things up. I mean, we still have quite a bit of health here. Sub 40 though, so we're not gonna get 300. But still a decent amount. Of... What a check! He didn't finish it. And that's okay. It, right? Yeah, but does get the kill and is gonna get a nice bit, big chunk of health back, right? Enough to at least make it pretty even. You see right there. The problem is though, is Kendrick is coming in with nearly double the bar. <laughs> oh, and that's punishable. Y'all love it in stereo, bro. This the double the K dash. <laughs> This character is so tight. How tight as that jumpsuit he's got on. Bro, I, I hope he doesn't go to Southbound. Oh, no. <laughs> and Atticus coming through with the 20 months. Thank you so much for the support. Ooh. Gotta watch your ankles getting crossed up here. Very nice good check challenge. Here. Kendrick's is really good at that. I've been peeping. His Abare game is solid in this matchup, and it's helping him out a lot. My game dragon is trying to go for like tick throws, and he's right there every second with a 2A. And now it's all down to Rio here for Kendrick. Oh, excuse me, for Game Dragon. Two and a half bars. This is completely doable, but you gotta find the right opening to be able to cash out. Oh yeah. Goes for the hop CD. Oh, that blessed. Less double hitting close T. Oh, big whip. Oh, look at the size difference between these two. <laughs> Reels arms to, to K Dash arms. Bro, that is someone who uh, eats a lot of protein. How many calories do you think he's got to consume a day to maintain that? He's consuming like five times his body weight. And chicken alone, let alone everything else. Oh, EX punches, no way, not gonna spend it. Two chances Game Dragon had. Okay, third time's a charm. You get the kill. Yeah, gets the, the standing C as well, closing out that round. Bro is built like Sam Sullick. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my god. He's real huge, lucky man. if he makes it past 30, bro. Damn, he's on the he's on the Andrew Martin diet. That's crazy. <laughs> Rest in peace test the GOAT. Ooh. Right now, he's got to live through this Shermie, though. Easier said oh. than done. That could have been the kill. Kendrick's still in a great position. Four bars. Anything will do at this point. Proper answer right there. Ballerina 12 right through the fireball, doing what she needed to do. Closing it out. Always love to see some good Shermie gameplay there, but great stuff. Back to Fatal Fury and Terry Bogard. But who cares about Terry? Because Antonov is on the screen right now, okay? <laughs> We got that a lot is of, the king of fighters. He, he was the king of fighters at some point, and we got a lot. That's a whole boss team, really, because Rugal is on point. And Rio, while not a boss canonically, he might as well be a boss in this game with how strong he is. Oh, yeah. He is a boss oh. for sure. Shout out to Poppy Chulo. Best rendition of Ice Palace. Let's see you. Get that stage buff. Ooh, Ooh that little instant overhead was clean. And also doing a good job shutting down the I beams. Yeah. Oh, the first one? You're gonna get that EX race spin in there. Kula Diamond. Man, I, I'm a little worried about Kula, guys. There's a chance we could get top tier Kula again next week. I know I, I he loves this character, so. 
The only thing holding her back really is her damage for the most part. And even then, it's not horrible. Look at that. Just a couple of hits is all it took for Papi Chulo. With a full health, Kula now moving on into Rio. Ready? <laughs> so I'll show you a sweep. Okay, Alan, we're getting a bit more aggressive here. Like those space fireballs. Gets the clean jump in. You're not oh that This is going to hurt so bad. Level two. Ooh. He wants this woman gone. You got to go. And I agree. Kill her now. You'll still have a decent amount of meter and health. I love the back dash there into the fireball. And chip damage is going to be a factor here. That's exactly what Alan's trying to go for. And there it is. Guard cancel for the kill. The guard cancel kill. Don't see it as often, but it's always a treat. It's legit. Because <laughs> that's like one of the real like checkmate situations, right? Because at that point, it's like you have to go for a throw. If I just hold down back, you know, you would have to either try to go for a throw or fake me out and say anything else. Yeah, 100%. And <clears throat> oh, yeah, chat, guard cancel does kill. It does uh, just a tiny bit of damage. Mm -hmm. I believe guard cancel does five hits of damage. So if your health is sub five, basically a pix uh, pixel, you're 110 dead. All right, 2D. Uh-oh. Rio might be out of here. Poppy's willing to spend it. Yep, there yeah. it is. Great oh, routing. Only took one bar to close that out. And recovered some meter in the meantime, too. That's always the, the good thing about Luan combos. Uh, she usually does the EX at the start of the combo, right? So, like, she'll do a few more moves, build some more resources, and still be able to close out at the end. There's your boy. Yeah, El Cabra. <laughs> the GOAT. Triple H himself. Oh, look at that damage. Ooh. The brown nice looks good on him, not gonna lie. Yeah, this is a dope color. Everyone usually picks like the purple one, so you don't see this as often. With the, the white belt? Mm -hmm. Oh, the white belt, like the icy title. Oh, flex on her. Got enough flexing to do. All the way to the corner. Are we gonna spend it? Absolutely. Next hit definitely kills. Got it. Oh, yep, the overhead sweep into the super, the classic, and Ooh. then just splash onto the ground. Alan staying alive. Doing the best he can, but he's got to go up against on TV. I grab that time. If we can keep those mixes going, I mean, he's got a lot of work to do. Antonov is, uh, oh, it's not going to matter here. I think we can keep it simple and it should still be enough. There it go. is. Only thing Antonov needs to change, man, is like, uh, you could shorten down those, uh, the, I guess you call them the, the sweatbands on his arm? Oh, the, uh, it's like wrist tape, right? No, I, it's not even tape. It's just like a, one solid yeah. thing. He's like looking like James Hetfield, but white, you know? <laughs> Brother, you said that right as I took a swig of water. <laughs> I like that you know exactly what I'm talking about, though. Bro <laughs> has the biggest uh, sweatbands on his arms I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's see if uh, he can loosen up, take them off, and maybe get some of that circulation going. <laughs> the will the brain to stay on the winner's side. Papachulo up one game. That Kulo was really in the kitchen last time, serving it up. You've seen the pressure. Yeah. But now, yeah, Rugal is really putting the pain on. Great punish. block, but no punish. Brother, you got to be ready. My man got whiplash from patch one when you couldn't punish that. You got to be ready. The PTSD really coming through. Yeah. Kicked in. All right, I like the slow pace, though. Like... Not rushing in too much after Poppy was able to get out of the corner, right? Oh, tried to go for the Ooh. cutter, but missed. Oh, I love that sound, the distortion. The XDP, not enough to do it. Yeah. And that's hard for Rugal to deal with because because of the spacing, he's going to lose if he tries to go for DP, and he can't reflect that, right? While technically Ice Breath is a fireball, you can't, like, send it back. You can't put her breath right back in her face, all right? So. Oh, let's punish! Yes! Drop it. Only need 
Should only need one. If not, she'll have a pixel left. A little bit more than a pixel, but still. To wrap things up. There it is. Close C. Clean work here. I like the Spanish lesson that I'm getting in chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to learn, chat. Thank you. So what, what would a male go be? Uh, Capro? Whoa, just a run up. Full C. Uh-huh. Uh Full day. Oh, look at that guard gauge just after a few hits. Yeah, that's all he needs, but she's about to drop two. Oh, no, just one. That's fine. Should be anything to do at this point for real. Oh, that is just served on a silver platter. Have to make this one count. Very fortunate that that was a two-way starter, right? Nothing too big, but we cannot afford to get hit yet again. Oh. Yeah, one too many sweeps. Her sweep, while yours is good, Rio, her sweep is also very dangerous, so... Here he comes, Antonov once again with a lot of meter too. He's got a lot more. I actually like Alan Ware's chances a ton. If we can get this Luong out very fast, there's a chance we might be able to wrap things up. I can't believe that didn't hit yeah. after the CD. If that hit would have been able to cancel it into a super and Luong would have been dead. Yeah, you can't punish that one too far out. Goes for the activation. Might as well spin it, yep. EX Seismic Wave. That is a uh, low block, so you have to respect it. Love we're seeing here from Alan, though. Really just trying to weave in and out. He is going to get caught and sent all the way to the corner. This is not a good place to be. Oh, you got baited. And this should be it, provided we don't drop it. And we won't. Poppy Chulo, great call out on the wake up DP from Alan Ware. Alan Ware was getting a little too predictable with those. Came back to bite him. Good stuff, bro. The Poppy Chulo. Yeah, I, you know, I got it. I got I'm, I'm so tired of fighting that I agree. Character. I agree. I'm so tired of that character. He is so strong. He is so absurd. He's so annoying, bro. <laughs> and he's on the anchor here for good reason, so we can cash in on all that meter. But it's time to jump into it. Almendra versus El Rojo. Almendra, yeah. So, correct names. We got Clark and Ennis. Ready? And it's uh, quite the strong character in his own right. Really been coming into his own in this later uh, half of the season. And Clark is another character that's like as good as the player makes him, right? We go for the record confirm. Great block on a cross up. Place out those tornadoes, yep. Uh oh, but Frankensteiner is in. Yeah, get out of there. Abort mission. Just run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Almond in Spanish is Almendra. And Almendra right now doing a good job. There's a the pressure with the EX Gatling attacks. Are we going to go to Anyway Jungle? Yep. DDT. Safe jump should work out for us. No. What a bait on a command grab, though. That's going to be it. Takes a grappler to know a grappler. I know what you want to do. I know what you got, and I ain't giving it to you. Salute the homie. Let's go. Oh, that's good. Solid confirm. Oh, gonna do it. Yep. There's the patented 2C. SK, if you're watching, please leave that button alone. I need that button. Without it, I am nothing. Da -da 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 -da. Backdash taco, give it to me, give it to me. Uh, a regular roll, that's okay. You didn't go fully Yori there. Ooh. We have lots of meter for both. A solid hit from either. Definitely spell defeat, and this is going to hurt. We go right into level one or two. Yep, level one. Oh, doesn't go for the dive bomb follow up there. Ooh! Look at this, Ralph. Really good spacing right there. Placing those uh those standing heavies, the, the crouch heavies, just in the right position. That's the key to success with Ralph. 
Ralph Enjoyer. Gotta always be in those places for those. Nice confirm. Keeping it simple and clean. Tata Hikaru would love it. That's a five bar. Yashiro, he is looking to spend some right now. Oh, he's gonna spend four. And the damage on this is so crazy that I can't even tell you <laughs> if it's gonna kill or not. I feel like it is it's gonna dead. kill. It's dead. That's why this character needs to be nerfed, bro. <laughs> you are dead. I'm putting my money on it. My uh, channel points. Batista bomb. Oh, a little never bit mind. left. Uh oh. I mean, still, it's a hefty oh, amount. The hitbox on the JC too. Oh, Come on. God. That's a punch, normal jobber. Why is he hitting you with his legs? The whole, it's like the whole hitbox just activates when he presses it. <laughs> His whole body just becomes a hitbox. I wish we had like a hitbox we were to see. Uh oh, speaking of obliteration. It needs to be obliterated, excuse me. Oh, there uh -oh. we go. Anti air. Dunked onto the ground into another super. Whoa! God. What for low? That was weird. Going for EX parry, and it was like a low. Yeah, low parry. Yeah, going for low parry there is very ballsy. Considering you never see Yashiro's go for low, right? They always go just for the left or the right. Yeah, I just and even in general, I don't think Geese's low parry is even that useful because his like it, there's methods to his parries, right? The high parry is good to stop anti airs, right? Uh, and then it's, it stops anti airs. It's a hard knockdown. But mid parry gives you a combo, and then the low parry he just knocks you away. Like, I don't, I don't think there's much of a reason for it. But regardless, we still get the dub. El Rojo's gonna take the first game, and then immediately locks right back on in. Oh, Both yeah. players. I mean, like you said before in the last game, it's not about, you know, the, the characters or about the order. It's just about cleaning things up a little bit. They're both still pretty neck and neck. Yeah, definitely a close game. Not bad at all. I hope they don't forget to nerf Benny Morrow. Um, Benny Morrow doesn't need nerfing. He's like very fair. He's as, as honest as can be. Yeah, he's honest. Honest Benny. And it's also healthy for the game for Benny Mar to be top tier. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 canonical. He's got the most titles. He's the he's the man. He's the the Benny Maru James. <laughs> Benny Maru James is crazy. Whoa. But Ganit's here on screen. Bro, you just know he goes Alexis King's barber. <laughs> you, oh, he definitely got the lineup. Yeah, the beard <laughs> is is properly trimmed. I wonder how much his haircuts cost, bro. I'm like, there's no way your barber's doing that for like the average. <laughs> uh, look at how he's dressed, bro. You know he got the money for it. He's good on it. <laughs> Uh-oh, but he's about to be put into the dirt here. Rolling death cradle. Not enough, but Clark trying to put hands. Jumps a little too early. He tried to jump into the eye of the storm. You're crazy for that one, Clark. That time he's like, okay, I don't know the timing on it, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what? He does die, but got a lot of help out of that Clark. Clark was about 50% when El Rojo was at that low, so I do like that. And this is where things got started last time. Similar first game. Again, it's one down. Ralph came in and cleaned up. Rose stanced up. He is. But there it is. Backbreaker. I love how they're both matching, but in their own way, right? They both have red tops and, like, camo pants. But then, like, you know, Clark's got on combat boots. You know, Ralph's got on Tim. <laughs> Clark's got that uh, got that short sleeve shirt. Yeah, Ralph's just like he's got his bandana on. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love him, bro. He's like a New Yorker. He doesn't even know it. Like, one of us. <laughs> well, he is able to take down Clark here. So once again, tying things up. Not quite full health here though for Ralph, but but the amount of damage that Ralph can put out, it almost doesn't even matter. For sure. Same can be said for Yori too, right? Fireworks, oh, yeah. still a deadly combination here. We're gonna see some of that meter get spent. All right, just goes for EX, not a super. I think if we went for fireworks, we might've been able to kill, but just wanted to conserve the meter. I respect that. Great block, walk up and roll through the gut punch. Much better. Oh, CD, what a trade. No one really coming out on top in that, but Aleman Amandra taking the opportunity there to actually swap sides. Much needed. We gotta slow things down here. Dark cancer roll, but that's okay. Very fortunate that we recovered in time. It almost didn't look like we were, but thankfully. Yeah, and Almendra there now. 
Putting El Rojo down to anchor Yeast with a nice life lead here with Iori. Oh, jump in on her. Corner. Uh-uh. Iori getting his holidays mixed up. Christmas is coming up, and he's thinking it's the 4th of July with the fireworks. <laughs> oh, he went for the reset! The reset into the run forward low. That Whoa. was nasty, and it ends up working out. What a steal there! Rare footage of the like Iori command run that he gained in this game. No one ever goes for that. And right there, Almandra showing you why it is important to utilize all of your tools to the best of your abilities. That, that, that was almost like a Skullgirls reset where you just purposefully drop the combo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just purposely drop it to get the reset to get more damage. Sick stuff. So good, and now we're going to a game three. Game three. Almendra okay. means almond in Spanish. Mm-hmm. Mm. Shout outs to almonds. I love me some, oh, some almond milk, man. Bro, almond milk's good. Hella good. Super underrated. Dude, I, once I got into almond milk, I was like, yeah, this is going in everything, bro. <laughs> Not going back. <laughs> It's not going back. Also, wow, we just saw Clark get thrown out of Frankensteiner. You very rarely see that, but it is possible because of the, the change in this patch that made uh, Frankensteiner a grounded move. Before it was airborne, so you couldn't throw him. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, trying to go for a backbreaker there, but not going to work. Yeah. Uh, Rojo, very slippery, but you couldn't escape that one. They're going to get gripped up eventually. There's the guard cancel. I like it. Create a lot of space, putting Almendra back to square one. This is the best situation. Gets the jump in. Wow. Okay. Wow. I really like how both of these guys are just utilizing all the tools to be so tricky with these characters. And that teleport from Ginnitz is devious. If you don't fight this character often, you're going to get opened up by that quite a bit. The EX one is even more dangerous because it's so fast and it like homes in on you. Goes back to the space thing. I love seeing oh. Ginnitz as well. Bro, he's, uh, he's another character that I look at to be a potential threat in this new patch. If he doesn't get changed enough, you're going to see him die because his damage, it's like it doesn't scale at all. He does some of the best damage with minimal meter. It's just finding those hits that can be a little difficult with him, right? Which is kind of the thing yeah. holding him back, the buttons in particular. But For man, sure. does he have the coolest EX move in the entire game with the finger snap? Oh, yeah. And it's an even juggle. So look at that again. Out of the air. Oh, just well placed, Sandy. Yeah, this is peak in it where you see the zone capabilities. You gotta drop it though if you're Yashiro. Yep, here comes the level one. Question is, are we gonna cash all the way in or just try and probably gonna go for a mix up here, right? Just take the OP. Yep, there it is. Yeah, oh! I'm surprised I didn't hit. Oh, well, you're dead anyway. Doesn't matter. Yeah. But I'm also surprised that he wasn't able to get the, the stand scene after that. That jump scene looked very deep. And there's the mustard. Yeah, you gotta do it. I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> Roll up into KOF with the etiquette of Orochi screaming mustard. <laughs> there it is. I was gonna put those buttons out. But we got some buttons too, just as dangerous, if not even better, actually. Oof. Yeah, that standing C, crouching C, both incredible buttons. Actually goes for a combo there with a shatter strike. And again, the super just does not scale. Look at this damage off the Jeez. mid mid combo shatter strike confirm. Up and built resources in between that. Oh, the anti air sweep, the little break dance. Uh oh. Arojo getting a little frustrated there, spinning some bar on block. And now it's going to be even harder to kill this Yashiro because we don't have a Cooper confirmed. Oh, oh yeah, we're going to get some That's exactly what happened earlier as well, right? When Almendra was in the corner, Arojo tried to jump in on him and just got scooped out of the skies. Uh -oh. I mean, definitely max power is this old Yashiro doing the best they can. A bar and a half, it's still not over yet. I mean, Geese needs that one solid hit. But at the end of the day, I mean, if you can get the mix going with the Josh, it could be dangerous. Uh-oh. Speaking of, it begins. Oh, empty jump grab. 
Oh, oh my god, you're nasty. Nasty. Someone call the cops. Oh, he's gonna drop two. It's not going to be enough, but parallel situation here for El Rojo. Fortunately for him, he doesn't get a setup off of the SDM version. Oh, he just has something to do it again. Wow, what did we say, Jobber? All you need is a solid mix. Keep your opponent in the blender. Have them thinking about their every single step, and you can put them in fear, take advantage, and get the dub. Yeah, just absolutely. I am in love with the way that he plays Duo Long, and obviously Duo Long, a character that was a, a little struggle bust when he first released, did get sure. some nice quality of life changes, but really all it took was time and a player with the vision to crack the code, right? And Ooh. Kula has been the one to crack it here. Yeah, he's definitely been one of the few. There's him, there's Paco, there's a lot of other strong duel lines coming up. And again, another character that you gotta wonder what is going to happen in a week. Will he only increase? Or will SNK say, hey, slow it down, buddy. We see what you're doing. If, if, if they don't buff Duel Long, that is only not buffing Kula. That's basically <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. It's like, hmm, do we want Kula to be nerfed? Let's see. All right, yeah, here we go. Nice anti-air 5B. That's what you're going to need to use a lot of if you're Kula. The character, not the player. Yeah. Oh, man, that's the worst part. We got Kula the player and Kula the character on screen at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, oh okay. yeah, clean overhead here. And Kula Diamond not quite building up enough to get the kill or the stun, but Duel Long not in a good place. There it is. Wow, I like how we were just sitting there talking up Kula's Duel Long, but Kula, the character, was like, nah, I'm, I'm right here. I'm the Kula you should be talking about. Ready? Okay, but here comes Honest Benny. <laughs> oh, oh, traded with the one inch punch? I've never seen that. <laughs> yeah, I guess that crumble effect on counter hit. Wow, threw her out of the race, man. I mean, wow, I can't believe he could do that. He needs that. Absolutely needs that. Oh, just like he needs that confirm, gets the kill. Yeah, could have made it even better, you know, and done another DP if he put out the level one super. He needs it. Mm -hmm. Look at him risen up the, the beautiful ladies. Gotta love Benny Morrow. Well, like, frizzing him up with all that electricity, bro. <laughs> frizzing him up. Oh! Oh, well, just a 2D punish. Okay, wanted to go for something safe to actually put Poppy Ooh. into the corner with a command grab here into the punt. Command grab conversion. Wow, just immediately taking his turn back. Does not believe in your offense, says Kula. And Benny Maru has single-handedly picked up the slack and done even more in Duel Long's absence. Cool, I need you to throw with Benny, bro. They're not. They're they're gonna they're gonna hate me. You gotta throw with him. This is your last chance. Here's a character I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen to her in the patch. Right, this character is in an interesting spot at the moment. She's great. Yeah, and she's never had any changes. Uh, the one patch that she that she was in was the current one, and when they did the updates, they said no changes to her. We feel she's fine, and she was totally one of the better anchors. And you're seeing Poppy Chilo doing some good work here. Yeah, again, it just took a little bit of time for people to really uh, you figure out because she is quite stubby compared to a lot of yeah. other characters. Compared to a character like Benny Maru, there's the slicer. Oh, we're just fishing for big kids. Ooh. EXDPs <laughs> through the right Jenkins. Oh, and then the headbutt! That was genius! Throw off the fireball. Kula trying to hang in the air there to avoid it, but just eats the headbutt on the way down. Yeah, straight up to Tsugeki, bro. She's channeling her Mei. Her Mei and her Honda. <laughs> Ooh, nice! And empty jump. Shatters right. It's dangerous and it works. I mean, we tested that Kula likes to go for sweep. And again, opening them up. Yeah, he noticed that he was picking up on it. And now it gets real ugly. You have the guard cancel roll. She does have a command grab, even though you don't see it often. It, just sending out the DP. If that DP didn't hit the way you, that you were expecting, it was over. Okay, try to go for it again, but Papachulo cannot get too frisky here. We have two bars of real, more than enough to kill. Yeah, not quite at 50 meter yet. Yeah, don't so throw EXs fireball. are locked out. They're locked out, but the Totsugeki catching something. It looks like Kula might have landed and tried to go for sweep again, possibly. But I was going to say, you know, I was looking for fireball, right? Because uh, Rio has that EX fireball super that's so fast. 
But Poppy Chilo's doing a good job. We were able to recover. Still Exciting coming thing. out on top. I mean, this would be a big win. Poppy Chulo's a strong player, but Kula's been on such a tear. Literally won the last two weeks of TNS. So to be able to take the, the current champion out before top eight, that's huge, man. Absolutely. Well, let's see if we can put the hurt on Duolong like we did before, right? If Duolong can actually get going, I think it might prove to be a very different match for Kula. <laughs> I see Kula's definitely going to change up his uh, style of play. Yeah, we got to watch that follow-up, that ice follow-up from, from Racepin. Even though you can press the button, you'll still trade. And using Racepin, that was, again, a genius move there. Racepin is faster uh, than the average normal, so throw it out there to catch the teleport of Dolan. Great stuff. I have to get the full conversion in the corner. That's Are we going for Stolen? We're yeah. seeing a lot of really interesting tactics and, and cheeky plays from a lot of the players so far here at TNS. But there's a big confirm from Kula. Oh. Cross through to the other side. Catches the roll with a punish, but we aren't able to commit. Dude, that was the KOF 13 tech. You got a uh, KOF 13 on a hard knockdown with Duelon. You could withstand CD over their corpse and it would like move them on the other side and you could wreck on the other side. It was so nasty. Just, oh, disgusting. And I like the Hail Mary DP. Not going to work out there for Poppy. And now Kula taking the first blood. Let's see if Luong can take this down a peg. Try and even this game up a bit. Gotta be careful throwing out those legs like that. Oh, yeah, can't be doing that. Duolon dominates so much of that mid range with his amazingly fast buttons. And he gets like ridiculous conversions. Like, he's far out and he's still able to get like four normals into special. Yeah, and Kula is not also um, not trying to rush this at all. Willing to just try and survive, whittle down Poppy while you can, right? Let the clock run down so that in the event that Duolong does go down, a lot of that damage will stick, but Duolong might end up staying alive here. One more mix, should be able to kill Luong. Yep, and it's just the overhead. Over? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Well, here we go, time to bring out the girl with the, the strongest skull in the world. <laughs> Big old, she's, she might as well be like those, like the old school Samoan wrestlers, like Jacob, right? She just, bro, every time you hit her on the head, it doesn't oh. even matter. <laughs> no, hear me out. Sylvie? Maki Ito. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And she I gives the that. same vibes, bro, and she's got that strong <laughs> skull. Her level three should just be her crying <laughs> and then stepping on there, too. That'd be fire. Yeah, it's still be a great design. Getting put to good use here. Poppy Chulo mixing in that pressure. I mean, the good thing about uh, Sylvie, her special moves, all the heavy versions are like plus on block. So you can utilize those. But you can't get too predictable with the, the status strike attempts there. Chulo slowing down his offense. Oh, that's going to be it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we started, started to pick up on the tendencies of Poppy Chulo. Poppy Chulo likes to go for like short hop. Maybe with a normal, if not with like Shatter Strike or a Dance Strike, and Kula's just waiting it out and getting punished. Yo, Benny? I I don't know, man. He's you he's see okay, that? you know. He trying to frizz up Sylvie? Yeah, he. I told you, he tried to frizz up everybody. <laughs> Benny don't discriminate. He's 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 all about the lady. I respect it. I respect it. I definitely respect Kula's play here too. That duel long is such a treat. Mm -hmm. yep, utilizing that 2B. Great chase down. And we've seen that from both these players here. Acknowledging when their opponents like to go for rolls, you know, after uh, getting pressure reset it, and just waiting for it and punishing. That is so optimal in KOF play. Do the race spin over the ground stop? Oh, I'm using the race you, spin to really good effect in this matchup, but ever since that first game has not really been able to run over Duel Long like we saw before. Try to go over the ghost, homie. Yeah, Kula switching up his jump patterns really, really helped out a lot. Yaga! Watch the deep jump in. Gets the counter hit confirm as well. 
Nice little escape there from Poppy Chulo. Oh, he didn't bleed. Oh, still no anti-air attempts. Oh. Trying to chase now the race spin, but gets caught on the slide after overextended Rome. Yeah, we did not need that slide at all. Try to go for it again. Almost would have got it there. If we had more health, I think we could have recovered in time. But yeah, he, he started to notice that he was catching some stray race spins after after a string and Kula was biting it, but he wasn't canceling. And I uh, just kind of bit on that last one. <laughs> now, Kula in once again, a very strong position here. Abichulo does have max meter. But even with the one bar or two bar, you'd be able to close this out with one solid confirm. It's just about getting that confirmed because Kula's being so slippery. Yeah, he's going to make you work for every single bit of it. If you look for a guard cancel roll with Kula, again, not giving much uh, space there. Not leaving many gaps. That's a solid anti-air. Look at the damage already. I mean, this duel on did the work, put it in for the team, and he's going to even get another character down. Not looking good for player one. Two characters with Duel Long again. Hmm. Yeah, I just, I don't know what happened to the Poppy Chulo we saw from game number one. He just uh, got got figured out. <laughs> I think that's all that happens. You know, Kula slowed down the process. Sometimes that's all you really need to do. It's like changing the mindset. It's just, oh, maybe I'm moving too fast, so I move slower. Or maybe I'm moving too slow, move faster. Yeah, that I could be the difference agree. maker. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can change things up here in the final hours here on Poppy's team. Down to the mm. anchor, able to shock the system, get rid of Duel Long. Now you got to yeah, deal with Benny Maru. Remember, remember Static Shock, bro, the cartoon? That was dope. I do. Static Shock I was, rules. I was thinking about uh, like the promos where he's like, I'll put a shock to your system. And they're like, you're going to shock my sister? I don't know if you remember that one. <laughs> I was about to think about when I saw Sylvie do that. But here we go. Lightning versus Lightning. Lightning bolts for days. So Tsugeki. I remember the Batman crossover episode. Oh my god, that was godlike. Oh, I, I remember the racist episode too. <laughs> Air throw. Watch out. Oh, EX sorry, Dick, and the big old stop sign. This will be enough to kill Kula with the download complete. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. You know, there's an episode like that in Teen Titans, too. That's the, uh... What is it? What, what, what's Cyborg say? Joey had Merrick beat. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, he didn't call the final attack, bro. He messed up. He died oh. before he could play the card, bro. He just died. Bro, I was molding as a kid watching that. I was like, come on. Because, you know, every Joey's like everyone's favorite, I feel. Everybody loves Joey. But, you know, game. You gotta do what you gotta do for the plot, Yugs. Here we go. Speaking of the plot, we got the pro tag on the screen. Got Isla. It's all I confirm already. Oh, get baited. Oh. They gripped up. Oh, gripped up again. Argentinian backbreaker into the elbow drop. Catch you with the JA. Oh, yeah. Eventually, that DP was coming. Mark will let them fly at all times. Okay, this is good. Gonna get the spin. Sizable damage and the corner as well. Instant overhead? No. What a oh, punish, no. though. Yep, uh -oh. into the rapid punches. Look at this corner damage. Oh, love the whiff on the JD, but doesn't get the hit. That's an easy punish there for Merrick. What an important block, too. Clark is not the easiest character to block in the corner. He has that overhead with the close D, as well as just you're afraid of getting thrown again, so you might stand up and get hit by the lows, but we're already on the next round here. Mm -hmm. you, you take that one grappler, and then immediately another one comes out. Oh, the batter strike with the shoulder, the cold shoulder, oh. putting Isla into the dirt. It, it must be like dealing with just like, you know, annoying people, right? It's like, oh man, I just got finished talking to someone. They're annoying, and then they leave, and then their annoying friend comes, and they're like, oh my god. Here we go. Oh, this guy stinks! <laughs> oh, brother! That's what I say every time, bro. He hits level one. Oh, brother! Yeah, Kukri deserves it, though. He's kind of a creep. Ooh! Yeah, Kukri's an incel, but, you know. <laughs> 
hit. <laughs> Terminally online incel. Oh, oh, we are just throwing out those standing C's, trying to hit something. Oh, he's getting punched oh, up. Man, God, man, bro. Recovery. Oh, come on, you didn't have to do that. He was already dead. <laughs> this character is absurd. If he actually gets out of this patch uh, unscathed, I'm gonna be shocked. I'm taking the first flight to Japan. I'm, I gotta let them have a piece of my mind. Oh, a CD, the shoulder tackle again into the level one. If you got it, you spend it. Ooh. All right, if he bets wrong here. Oh my God, literally leaving the rope out there for Marek to do it himself. Won't be enough to kill, but gonna have to guess again full of toll order to make the comeback. Advancing strike. That was so scary, but it doesn't matter. The JA jumping right on in. Gonna be able to close it out for Almendra. Ryoku, yes, uh, there is going to be a patch this coming Thursday. So the 12th, December 12th, uh, I believe 12 a.m. There's no official date, but usually that's when it is. Uh, there's going to be an update for the game. So you can very well see a lot of these players maybe utilizing some different characters depending on the changes. Of course, we also have two new characters coming too, but people might want to add them to their arsenal. Bro, bro, I think that Orochi Yashiro might have the coldest win quote of all time. I didn't even read that. He what he said? He said, I'm not heartless. I'll let you pray at the end. <laughs> That's crazy. Brutal. What a maniacal dude. See, uh, someone like that should not represent your game, SNK. You should nerf him. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> someone like that should not be able, be able to be. Yeah, let, let's let Vice be the new uh, <laughs> Orochi Yashiro. You know what I'm saying? Let's let Vice do everything, please. Just give her the world, you know? <laughs> she needs her own video game. Give her everything. Let's see. One of these players is going to get everything moving on to the winner's finals. The other going to be sent to the shark-infested waters that is losers. Oh, Mark put the captain in. Dude, he didn't even react to that grab, but he was out of range, so he didn't get gripped. He's I mean, gonna get ripped that time. again, that's the fear of God. Ugh. Oh, oh the, the armor. Hyder with the, the purple jumpsuit on. He's looking like David Blunt right now, bro. But, like, fit. You, you know what I see? I, I immediately see uh, Rey Mysterio Halloween Havoc. Hey! <laughs> too tall, but yeah, you're right, though. <laughs> Way too tall. <laughs> like three Whoa. Rey Mysterios on top of each other. On top of each other. <laughs> there we go. We'll Makes up right on top. Same side with the JB. Hit him with a spirit gun. Oh, no. Lost to the wall. Crucial point in your life. What do you do? And you die. Yeah, just spiked. Unsafe worker, Clark. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, unsafe. He's hurting all the boys. He's like Ahmed Johnson, bro. He's hurting everybody. Alright, round star goes for the standing C. I like the patience there from Merrick. Oh no. Bro, I have seen so many Argentinian backbreakers in one game. He's doing a good job and like even in minimal effort here, right? Okay, yes, we got the kill. We needed that, but he was like playing to his strength. Like Almond was just chilling, letting Marek literally just, you know, roll. And again, that's, I mean, that's the best way to use a grappler is to get in your opponent's head so much that they play the game for you. Your opponents just walk into all of your traps. And speaking of walking into traps there, round start 5B maximal. Oh my lord. Yep, and there we go. Chasing you down. Farsi was able to connect, but not much you can get out of that. Ooh, this slide. Good commitment to the not maximal there. I wanted to save it for chances like that. 6B. Still a great anti-air tool. Oh, and I okay. love that step forward. Oh, that was a big hit. You can't pop this time, Mark. Yeah, that should be enough to do it. Yep, signed, sealed, and delivered. Time to bring it down to Yori Merrick. Finally with a solid lead here. Staying alive. Bringing a fight to Almond. Trying to crack the Almond, if you will. It's tough to do that, though. Almonds, they, they're tough. They're not like cash. Yeah, I don't know do how they milk them. Yeah. How do they milk? Yeah. Huh. What a life's mystery. How do they milk Almond? Roll to the other oh. side. Slow overhead into the DP. Are you kidding me? Woo. Nah, it wasn't me. It was the Guilty Gear commentator that said 6P, but that's okay. 
It works. You trying to throw that at me? I didn't say no 60. <laughs> I don't think I said it. I don't remember. <laughs> I think it might have been 6B. Yeah, maybe it's just because of how I talk. We'll make fun of it. Oh, yeah, rude chat. <laughs> oh, there's the drop kick in the air. Keeping you so close to the Oki on that is pretty good. All right, he sees and smells the blood in the water, but the Yuri players can take advantage of that. They can use that as a diversionary tactic. That jump in was almost the, the answer. You gotta watch a, You gotta watch your jump in too, because you can answer oh, your Oh my god. god! The one hit on the 2B into the confirmed beautiful howl at the moon. Ow! What a way to close that out. Just an insane one hit <laughs> confirm. I thought he killed the stream for a minute there. It was like, like he killed the frame rate for a second and then it was like white for so long. I was like, oh, that's it. Yuri just ends the game. One heavy, bro. I like it though. It is, I like it. Especially going up against a team like uh, Duolong, Benimaru and Ryo. Yeah. Joe Higashi, um, a solid, formidable character. Really, uh, since the first patch, he was like the reason why Fireballs got nerfed, right? Because his one release was dangerous and he hasn't quite seen that success. So another character to look out for, I would say, in the upcoming patch. Still can get it done with his great neutral tools. But not those badly placed jumps. You can't do that. Oh my God, caught on the ankles too, crossing underneath. <laughs> Ula just running wild right now. Ooh. We got that Asaka 96 in the background. Hell yeah. Nice saw, roll wonder... through. Oh, didn't get a clean punish though. I was going to say real quick, I wonder if we're going to get new music with this update too. We'll see. Uh-uh, uh, there's the throw. Good block on the uh, jump low. That was good. Just stomp on him. <laughs> Him with the Kid Boo. Basically, right? I guess Big Kid Boo hits them with the uh, Duel Long, right? No, I was gonna, no, actually, it's well, Kid Boo had it first, but I was going to say Duel Long, big DBZ fan, right? He's got the Kid Boo stomps and he's got the Super Ghost Kamikaze right there. Oh my god, you're right. What a weave. He's like me. Ooh, anti air tornado. And that, oh. that timer, yeah. He was getting caught in the middle of the back dash there. Kula getting a good read on those back dashes from Kelzo. Beans, beans, green Athena. She's looking like Mother Earth right now. Green bean Athena. <laughs> uh oh, Ooh. right into the super. Very nice. Oh, stuffing out. Yeah, there's no invincibility on the start for that. Yeah, I wonder if that was supposed to be me shining crystal bit, but because Duolan crossed her up, her input got mixed up. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I wondered if that was the case for short. No, oh, don't get too crazy. Yeah, I get a little scrambly there towards the end. Okay. Well, there we go. Yep. Just able to get the anti-air. Very clean from Kelzo. Finally shutting Duo Long down. Yeah, we couldn't afford to lose any more health than that, so. There we go. Gonna have to use that reflect to deal with the Bini Morrow Lightning and the immediate guard cancel roll through the string from Kula, showing that years of expertise in KOF. Oh, no! Crazy <laughs> trade. God, he's gonna get nerfed to the ground, bro. They're gonna kill that move. Kula, please, I'm begging you, stop doing it. But yeah, that guard cancel right away too was just because oh. Kelzo was, even in the last round, was being a little too predictable with the fireballs, right? Kula was getting the jump-ins on the fireballs earlier. Yeah, more 100%. And yeah, nice awareness punishing the elbow. Can... Athena looking like Cosmo from Sonic X. That is a deep cut if I've ever heard one, and I know what you're talking about. Ooh. Is that the one where it says faster, 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 yeah. faster? Yeah, yeah, Sonic X. <laughs> <laughs> and the main character looks like Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Too. Oh my god, you're right. It's all flooding back to me. Just like all this damage flooding onto Kelzo. Just pumps him away. Nothing else after. Didn't have the meter. Yeah, didn't go for the follow up lightning slash, but a great position. Okay, good EX elbow through the right Jenkin. But you got him out some big damage here to Kelzo. Down to your last character. And the run up EX DP. Knew that some type of movement option was going to happen, and we already got that blown up. So Kula looking as dominant as ever. Already one game up in his winner's semi. And trying to get his way into winner's finals.
Ooh, and our loser side is starting to populate as well. We got some good matches coming up for all of y'all, but this one still going on. Kula, like you said, with game number one. Let's see how Kelzo is going to adjust. Yeah. What do we do? How do we try to stop Kula's approach? Maybe we can make that change here. I think the, the most important thing is getting rid of this duel long early. Yeah. We're gonna need to. He's gonna have to tighten up too. He backdashes a lot, and that's why Kula was able to snipe him with those stomps because he was catching him every single time. See, he's going for it again. He's gotta be careful with those. Oh, I didn't even know where the side that was going on. So I'm gonna eat the cross up. What's crazy about that is that he hit it what felt like seemingly so high, but was still able to land and confirm. Yeah. Okay, golden heels out the corner. Gonna have to use more of those tornadoes. Starting to work out here. And there's the uppercut. Yes! NT jump low. Dude, I would drop everything. Yeah, it gets the level one. Oh, it doesn't land it. Oh, you better hope that doesn't come back to bite you. Yeah. You really better hope that doesn't. Goes for the standee. He's gonna go for slash kick. I feel it. He's just gonna do it. He's gonna do slash kick neutral. I knew it. It didn't work out. That's the, Joe player. That's the Joe player in you. Does it one more time, though, and second time's the charm. It's just, it's such a move that, like, when you know your opponent is just trying to close the distance, it's just so easy to just throw out quick bash, you know? Absolutely. Battle of the spiked up hair right now. Big hair, boys. Okay. Dance CD confirm. And he's right back out. As soon as he ends, as soon as Kelzo ends his pressure, he starts to hop back. That was a good jump in from Kula. Alright, let's reach for the top. Athena, time to pick up some slack. Yeah, Athena was just a little too obvious, or Kelzo, I should say, was a little too obvious with the fireballs with Athena before. So, needs to mix it up. Maybe go for a, yeah, a bit more teleports, a bit more of her dives. Yeah, that was a big hit there. I think we just didn't have enough health last time either, right? But right now, we're looking at very equal to Benny Morrow. Start to establish. Yeah, you got red, sir. One too many teleports. Gotta be careful about your space. And Kula was looking for that. And the command grab baited as well. Jobber, that is two big mistakes from Kelzo and paying for it dearly. Yeah, might be paying for it by getting sent to losers here too. Down on their final character, the anchor, Andy, who has a lot of work to do if Kelzo wants to stay in this. Ton of work right now. You still got the Rio waiting in the wings. We didn't even see that guy come out yet. No, oh, and it, God forbid Kula comes in with Rio with a lot of meter. <laughs> yeah. Especially at the health deficit that Andy might be at. He is eating all of these straight hits, too. They're starting to add up. As our boy Proxy would say, incremental damage is stacking up. Kelzo just looked like they're trying to figure out the right opportunity to strike here. Oh, another big trade, but luckily the elbow knocked Kula far back. Not gonna matter though, with the level three. <laughs> level three confirm. Nicely done. Kula starts himself yet again in top three winner side. Looking to three peat, man. What a dominant reign that could be. What a great way to maybe DLC or base. But yeah, there's still a large portion of characters. Yeah, there's five more characters, people are saying. Yeah, five wow, more I mean in the base roster. We, yeah. were, we were just getting spoiled for a while. They were just revealing character after character, yeah, yeah. doubling up on them, too. Ronaldo at the Game Awards. Ronaldo. I'm saying it, bro. Yo, Ronaldo, I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm your biggest fan. I can see it. I can see it. Right, we got KOF 94 and 95 boss going up against 96 boss. <laughs> Which boss is the better drip? Right now, Guinness. That boss outfit for him is, is way It is kind of crazy. <laughs> With Power the Orochi's people in the back, bro. Mm -hmm. I want to try to go for a safe jump. I'll roll hold with the anti air. And then, yo, they got the proper music too in the background. This is Mozart. Let's go. Oh, wow. The actual up laser eye hitting the teleport. That was really clean. Good little bit of counterplay there. Oh, you should be dead. Yep. And this is actually canon, too. I believe Ginnis is the one that, like, cooks. Uh, Rugal, he frees him up, takes his eye. Ooh, 
Rugal selling. <laughs> just keeping Kayfabe alive, just walking around like the one eye. Oh, the anti air whiff over the teleport. Oh, that was scary there. Scary whiff for El Rojo, but still not getting hit. In control of the pace of the match right here, the rhythm of everything that's going on. Oh, stuffs you out of the sky too. Nice blocks from Alan though. <gasps> too far out. Not gonna go for anywhere jungle punches either. Alan has gotta mount some big damage on Arojo. Oh, that could have been a jump and we needed if we just opted for a heavy attack instead of CD. <laughs> Overhead is the man grab, okay. Wow, not as much damage as I would have expected. I thought Rio was gonna die with that one, but the anti-air summoning the storm is gonna be enough to take out Rio. That is two characters down. Yeah, I want to say that was the overhead scaling, right? Because there is quite a bit of that. So that might be the reason, even though it was only one hit, could have been a reason. Still, I mean, a great position for El Rojo. He is oh, un. God. Oh God. Uh oh. The oh flexed on. But the clean jump in, that is perfect. And then just going for the meaty chip damage. Beautiful stuff there. Antonov. Yeah, it's hard to deal with that. That, that jump back splash. It's a low, so you have to respect it. And if you try to reversal, I mean, he's relatively safe. So you just got to wait your turn. Also, I agree, chat. The music is so appropriate for this fight. <laughs> you know this dude's cardio is insane when he's smoking while whooping your ass. <laughs> Typical. Oh, like just... He's like the old, like, strongman, like, the put him up, put him up. Like, that's how I feel. Oh, and Dr. Sauce putting up $25 into the match. Reno, thank you so much. Help me get these players paid out. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, the stand CD. Oh. And I'm going to go for the reset again. Oh, that reset's so clean. Uh-oh. And this will be it. Yeah, we built the third bar. It's an off. No. Oh, wait a minute. We're Hold on, live. he's beefy. Yeah, we're gonna live. I, I was expecting uh, level three. Oh, uh -oh. gets the two B and then just goes for the short hop. Day and alive. Uh, this is the version from Maximum Impact chat. Probably just oh from Maximum Impact. But here we go. Still has two and a half bars. Yep. I mean, it's also Ralph. Ralph just needs that one hit for sure now. But oh, oh yep, standing C. Damn. Alan Ware was trying to make the Shawn Michaels Survivor Series 03 comeback. The one versus three. Didn't happen. Damn, like you're War games through. here, though, bro, with Ralph. War games. Yeah, Ralph is who I'm going to war with. Just imagine him and Clark in the cage, like, waiting to fight. He's He is in Metal Slug Tactics, isn't he? Yeah. Is, is, uh, just... is Clark in it, too? Mm -hmm. I think Clark, Le Leona, and Ralph are in there, yeah. Does Clark do Argentinian backbreakers to people at? <laughs> I think so, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, let us know. I know you guys, I know there's some uh, tactics heads in here. I've been going through the older Metal Slugs uh, to get familiar with the IP. It's very so much fun. Hard as heck, but they're a lot of fun. Yeah, I love a good tactics game. I might need to check it out. Oh, 2B, 2A, just harass him with the light normals. Alouin's gonna need some good tactics against this Guinness, but he's getting stopped at every moment, though. Just great control of the screen. Didn't believe in that confirm. Maybe he can now. Wow, no anti air. Oh, and then the oh. one time he goes for Genocide Cutter, yeah, too far out. Unfortunately, that's the one downside of the cutter, right? Is that it doesn't really have any forward momentum. And now, Rio. Oh, tries to go for the anti air, but it's a big trade. And getting caught was pressing the 2A, saw the teleport, pressed 2A, thinking it was going to be the grounded one, and got hit by the overhead. The jump in. Oh my god, he was. Still close enough. All right, Shadow Strike anti air. Mm -hmm. Ah, but too high for the second follow up. And the anywhere jungle. Yep. He said, I got one of those two, Rio. Bro, oh, he's so dripped out. He's so cool. <laughs> he's going nuts. That's right. Dude, and he's one of the like few characters where like all eight of his colors are godlike. 
Like, I would have a hard time picking which one, because they're all good in this variant. Oh, the little standing B anti-airs. Oh, that was a nice little frame kill. Ooh, could have comboed, but went for the reset instead. Already committed to the bit. Ooh. Antonov's always committed to the bit, bro. Oh. Committed to dying here, too. <laughs> I was going to say that he's about to be committed to the grave after this one. Oh, oh no. Oh, Max, that's not what you wanted. You definitely wanted the standing A into quick Max, but, you know, trying to make the best of a bad situation. Mm -hmm. Takes out Gonitz, but has a long way to go now and not a lot of meter to do it. <laughs> I say that, Dweeb? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, the whip counter. Caught him lacking. This should be enough. Yep. That's going to be it. Optimal combo there. El Rojo is going to continue on. Alloware, thank you for playing. Getting top eight. No easy feat. Good to you. And hope to see you next week. Yeah, I love, love to see the team. Love the team combo. You can balance it out, but it's never going to be truly balanced. So essentially, I'm letting y'all know right now, for those that may not know or expecting else, it's just going to be another top three. Now, the gap hopefully will be closer, but... You, you're always going to have a top three. Always. Always going to have a top five. Every fighting game will always have low tiers, mids, and highs. No matter yeah. how balanced the game will be. Top three is going to be Clark, Hinako, and uh, Antonov. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Oh, my God. We know and who to Shermie, blame. Shermie in fourth. Shermie in fourth. Which Shermie, though? Old Shermie? She's oh, due for a buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like, we like, uh, I mean, both Shermies are baddies, but we like bad Shermies. <laughs> I like mean girl Shermie, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Roll on mix. Any red oh, jungle? To the oh, sock. Yes, oh my god. Susio. Susio, indeed. Bing, bing, bing. All right, Yori. Block, por favor. <laughs> I was saying uh, in the K-Web Discord the other day, I was like, I want Iori to be good enough for Shao Hai to pick him up again. But there's something special about watching the Shao Hai Iori. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't want Iori being number one. Iori players complain that he's never good, and he's already solid, so. Oh, oh it catches the roll forward. Alamendra right. tried to roll to avoid it altogether, and the safe jump too, bidding up the DP this Oh my god, Kula is just getting better and better as the tournament goes on. Just leveling up. That's dangerous, bro. He's like AI. He's learning. He learns his fights. <laughs> oh, landing? Yeah, I thought it was gone too. I don't even blame him. <laughs> oh my god, landing into all the traps here. Cool. So this might be one of the fastest OCVs I've ever seen in KOF history. Hold on. It's not not done yet. Almendra has a lot of meter, has an Orochi Yashiro. That's a lot of damage as well. All right, trading. Baited off the ghost, homies. Oh, you can kill. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he 100% can. Don't know if I agree with that starter just because it runs the clock a little bit longer. And you need as much health as you can get. This one's not going to kill. Needs that last oh. touch. And it's all for not yet. I understand trying to be a bit more meta efficient, but you have no health, no extra character. Get the kill now to focus on the next round. Yeah, absolutely. Those are the kind of really tough decisions to make in that scenario, right? Because you, you possibly don't want to spend two bars to get the kill because you feel like you need it, but always finish your food, especially, especially when you're on your last character. 100%. Yeah, meter is important. You want to make sure your meter management is up there, but you need health to live. You know, meter is not, if you have more meter than health, it, it's not going to matter, right? Like you need your health, essentially. That is one OCV to kick things off here for Kula. Mm. Oh. Neutral jumping to Frankensteiner. I mean, it's going to cover both of them, right? Frankensteiner or Argentinian backbreaker. Oh, check that, but he didn't complete the combo. Oh my god, look how active that was. 2D. Alright, we got the knockdown. Oh, looks like we were beating off the roll. And it's not that it's even going to matter. What? He dropped it. Yeah, interesting there. It seems like that, that confirm is a little bit more finicky in the corner. Mm -hmm. Just not as much room. So it's really tight. 
speaking of tight, Kula just uh, knowledge so well on jumping out those grabs. Again, that's the uh, experience in several KOF games. Kula is just so good at getting a read on the opponent's habits, too. We've seen that all afternoon here so far in tournament. There we go. Fireworks. Not even New Year's yet. Mm. Dropping him. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's all I see is his whiff normals. <laughs> huh? Oh my god, what a block from um, yeah. a Almond there. That defense was wild. Yeah. And now getting to a scrambling situation here, throwing out all this wreck as Hop CD connects. He tries to go for the close C with 2D, and you're gonna pay for it. Duolon just being so strong at that mid range. Many characters cannot punish that sweep from that range because of how fast it is. But again, you see the normals from Duolon having a cancelable 6B that lands from that far out. Gnarly stuff. Ready, go. Look at Morochi Yashiro, he's plotting. The hands are spinning. Trying to go for the scoop early on. Had the right idea, but it was just a little too premature. Brother, he is walking out of your throw range. You might need to not grapple anymore, Almond. I have to try to fight him straight up, but Kula just so dominant. Jabba, are we going to get yet a double OCV here? I just winner's finals. Incredibly likely. Ooh. Akula eats a CD, a scoop off the pro. That is the longest OTG. <laughs> that is a Marvel OTG. <laughs> Get all the time in the world. Get a could text, you know, check this phone, check this blue sky or whatever. Like, bro, well, I'm telling you, like when Doom's hitting people with stomps and Marvel, I'm like, how are they? How they're on the ground so long? <laughs> This but Kula just immediately mopping it up afterwards, getting up 2 0. What a nice what? guy. Yeah, you're going to invite over Oyashiro, this evil being, to your dojo to just fling all of your students? No, he's like Naruto, bro. He's just going to say, you know, he's going to talk no jutsu to him. Save him with the power of friendship it's and karate. <laughs> That's steroids. Winners use drugs, bro. <laughs> That's what they have plastered on the wall when you first come into the dojo. Shout out to my goat, Jack Hanma. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the winners use drugs. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You see, again, Kula just, he's recognizing all of those throws. So Almond's going to have to vary up his offense here. I mean, he's playing characters with strong normals. So get a little bit more, uh, a little more optimal with those normals uh, where you're placing them. Try to use them to force Kula to block more, and then you can go for the throws. Honestly, I want to see a little more 2D. There it is. <laughs> right on cue. I want to see a little more 2D you. from Clark. You got it. You're like his Jarvis, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, uh. You know what? That's a great option there. Again, oh, immediately yeah. going for throw, and you're not, you haven't conditioned Kula to respect you when it comes to that. So he's going to jump out of all those throws. Yeah, you gotta go for more strike options, maybe even like those close D options too. But the hop CD is gonna be able to connect, putting us right back to neutral. And these with 2Ds, with 2Ds on Iori, Almendra just can't seem to get the, the spacing down properly on them. Yeah, that's a testament to Kula's neutral. Get gripped up, though. Scum Gizzy's going to do it. And this is the best position we've been in. Took a character down, and we're going to recover all that health. So for all intents and purposes, it is equal right now. Down the line. That bar ain't looking equal. Ariel's looking... He's looking ready to spend it. It's the holiday season. We'll go at all and spend all that money on it. Bro, he looking like a young Santa Claus. <laughs> he is. He about to turn Yori into Cole. Yeah, right? You've been very naughty, Yori. Ooh, okay. Oh, the Yori setting off the fireworks once again. Put you into the corner, OTG. No, just trying to oh. go for a reset, but wake up buttons in this super from Kula. No fear, no hesitation. Yori is toast. Sent to the North Pole, my guy. You ever took a picture with like the mall Santa Claus? Course. Set on his lap. Yeah, that's cool. Ready, go. Wonder if I could do that today. I, hey, I don't think they're gonna tell you to get out of line. <laughs> hey. I have to go check that out. Here we go, though. We're checking out this confirm for real. Uh huh? 
Make sure you do it this weekend and ask him for uh, Antonov buffs. <laughs> oh, no, ask him for Vice buffs. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Level one. Time to guess the left right. Think about it. Nice. Wow. Yeah, he. It felt like he was going for the option select there, but still didn't work out. Oh, no, that's punishable. And this should be it. Kula will be advancing to Grand Finals for the third time in a row. I don't know about you guys. And I don't want to call it early, but Kula is looking unbeatable. Yeah. This top four, last tournament of the season two meta. I cannot stress that enough. This is going to be an important one. All right. Here we go. Time to get cooking. This is the hot seat. Winner of this stays on until they are eliminated. Yep. Round winner is going to visit Almond, and the winner of that will fight the, the final boss, as I'm concerned. Kula. In the oh. grand finals. Okay, we've been talking a lot of crap about this character, but the all white Orochi Yashiro? It's not kind of clean. I'm a hater of the character, not the drip. He's, he's clean. Also, not a bad matchup here for Athena. We can see her utilize those normals and her evasive tools. Try to teleport there, but the jump A is so active. Ooh, Nebu trying to chase down, but again, you mentioned those evasive tools able to get out of harm's way. Cycle ball. Oh, uh oh. Running up into the grab. Much needed blocks there from Kelzo. Toss to the corner with the meaty cycle ball. Yep, and look how slow Kelzo's playing this. Definitely the right way to approach this matchup here. Don't want to give anything to Oyashiro. He can close the distance so fast. There's a hop CD. Another one. Now pushing to the corner. Oh, but the hop there from Nebu, unfortunately. Putting themselves back to square one, having to play this chase game, cat and mouse here against Kelzo. Mm. Well, we didn't see the EX dash grab. The EX dash grab goes through fireballs. So I wonder if uh, Nebel is just holding on to it. Maybe he'll need it later, but it'll be more crucial. But from one grappler to another. Also, look at that anchor, bro. I didn't even peep that. Yeah, the anchor, Shingo. For the carry of the team. Hey, can't can't say nothing about Shingo now. He's currently qualified for the SWC. <laughs> Damn right he is. <laughs> oh, well, look at Dude, that imagine, triple backbreaker. Imagine Shingo gets like crazy buffed in this next patch and becomes top three. That would be fire, actually. <laughs> the prophecy would be fulfilled. It would be fulfilled, bro. Just a, nothing but gambling in top three. I like the slow approach here from Nebu. Doesn't want to overextend, and I really respect that. You only have to find one more hit. Try and get a 2D if you can as well. And equally, I like their approach from Kelzo. Run the clock. Make him work for it. Spin meter 2, guard cancel. Seeing classic KOF come to fruition here. You get a fireball roll, fireball roll. Right back at it. He lost so much health from chip damage. I know, it's all adding up. And look at the guard gauge, too. Wow. And there we go. Finally trades, but 20 seconds on the clock and all that damage taken. Clark is hurt. I like that zone style. But we can double down with uh with Joe here, because Joe actually has a better reversal. Try to go for the Hail Mary tackle. And it's going to pay dearly for it. And right back to it. Yep. That tornado is so slow. <laughs> Oh, we're running the, the all-white Shingo as well? All-white everything. Andrew WK. Shingo Yabuki. Go for the Shingo kick. Shingo, an interesting character uh, for those that may not be in the know, but I'm sure you all are. He has an RNG factor to his moves. He has a critical hit, which can lead to bigger damage and more combo potential. Of course, he's got to get the hit, though, and that's where he struggles. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah, went for the low, but what a big trade! Oh, yeah, he didn't get the crit on that low uh, Rekka there. Okay, she go kick the dodge of DP. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're getting these stray hits, but not really able to capitalize on anything. There we go, crit right into the level two! <laughs> the fake Orochi Nagi. The flameless Orochi Nagi is killing oh, it's me. it's fire. <laughs> it's not fired. It's none there now. <laughs> you know what this character could use? Imagine they gave him an install that makes all all specials crit. Get, oh my! Oh, oh, that sounds. That's so devious. I kind of like that. Hold up. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, he's about to get installed in the game number two here. Shingo imagines the fire is there, just like, <laughs> like Ichiban and Yakuza. He's like, oh, it's here if I believe it enough. In the manga, I think he starts to develop like a blue flame, which is cool. But they didn't, they didn't, uh, I don't know if that's canon or not. And then they didn't want to add it to this game. But I know like there was like a whole manga dedicated to Shingo, which is really cool for SNK to put that much stock into the character. To give him his own like manga, his little mini manga series. I love when a joke character grows. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you want to cheer for him. You know, you want exactly. to Exactly. Shingo's theme is this fire burn. Yo, kill switch engage. That's my joint. Oh, nice! EX teleport to escape from the corner and even better avoiding the command grab. The classic Athena problem, that butt bomb has a lot of startup on it. So does it combo? <laughs> EX command grab through the shatter strike. Oh, just DP, it ain't your turn yet. Stand still. Again, okay. it's the level one this time. Yep, gonna get that Oki. I like using that. Oh, kills off its guard. Yeah, we know, we know you wanted it. But still adding up a lot of damage on the Kelzo. Yeah. Clark can definitely do this, just needs to figure out a way to consistently get around those fireballs that Nebu is having a difficult time dealing with. And he tried to go for Shadow Strike there, which isn't a bad option, but you can see it gets stuffed there too early. Just the raw spear was crazy. They try to make it work. You can see the frustration is definitely starting to kick in. And this is where Athena players tend to be at their best. And they can just be as annoying as possible with the character. What a confirm as well. Kelzo sitting on an OCV potential here with Athena Asamiya. All right, Athena, let's see what we can cook up here against Shingo. Shingo kick. He's gonna hit this time. And the OTG, really clean. It's the dunk. Beans, beans, beans. That's my Athena emote. There we go. Oh, oh, I thought that was a DP for a second, but it was just the 2C. Yeah. I need to see him score the throw. What? I want to see him try to go for uh, the command grab. I like using the shingle kick to go over the fireball. Yeah, just having a difficult time punishing Athena at all here. And all this chip damage is adding up, bro. Mm -hmm, it is. But what's gonna happen here? That's a shingle kick out. We still have meter. That oh, was no. a meter. And oh. the trade with the reflector. Neville's gonna get eliminated. Kelzo, Athena, OCV to see him through the top. Uh, Almond, Almond, yeah. Almond is going to be able. I was like, this player, I know this player. Yeah, Almond. Let's see if Almond is gonna be able to keep that momentum on their side too. I mean, they got in here on, on a great. Win streak here, only going down to Kula. Gonna have to pick things up and uh, pick up the pace and get back into the fight. Yep, jumping into it. Round Curious if we're gonna go for the same strategy here that we did last game against Clark. Yeah, but if you're Almond, you're definitely watching that last strategy, right? So you're like, hmm, okay, let me get acclimated to the fireball pressure right now. And already more 2Ds we're seeing from Almenja. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, nice deep oh, jump, closey punish. We need more of those. Jumps out, she, she gets all the way out there. She's got like the, the uh, moon boots on from Symphony of the Night. <laughs> Ooh. Anywhere jug? Uh, anywhere, um, it's an overhead, excuse me. me wake up. That's a little later in the day, but. Almendra has been getting some good hits here, but it's still like a, the same game plan. It is working out incredibly well, just zoning out Clark. It's because of how slow those fireballs move. Okay, using it to the best of our abilities here. Stand to ground. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your idle animation? Just stood there for a second. Tells are doing a good job with these characters. But, you know, the zone game is switching up the fireballs. That is so important, right? You have the psycho ball and the psycho shoot. To switch up and vary the timing and throw your opponent off. Look at this. Oh, this is dominant. Yeah, the in and out game plan, but finally put on notice with the fireworks. 
Almendra just needed that one opening and capitalized effectively. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Raider Maroon. Athena will never be balling. Psycho Ball spits uh, cereal out. <laughs> just mod to be a basketball. <laughs> you know Shermie be balling, right? Oh, she do be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's in that basketball game. Go. Oh my gosh, she's staying in there. Now or never. I don't know, Rochi Ashiro. Healthy amount of meter. <laughs> we out of here. Kelzo just dominated at the neutral game. Spacing yet again. And we're going to spend it. SDM. I like you trying to get as much damage as you can. Empty jump low. Oh, well, the final hit didn't connect. It pushed out too far? Yeah, TNT punches pushed him out a little too far there. Paying dearly with his life for it. Oh, loving damage. Coming. Yep. All four bars going to be dropped. Mm. A bad Bro, like, ammo wave? <laughs> Oh. Almost kind of want that as like a fireball for him. That'd be sick. Oh! Joe is dead. All right, we saw Almond make this comeback last time, right? He was at a, a two character deficit and uh, Orochi Yashiro with like 50% health, but he made all the necessary mix ups come into play for him. I mean, Orochi Yashiro just has that comeback factor. Ooh. Like Elzo trying to put a stop to it right now. Wants to shut down any momentum that Almendra has and is able to close out game number one. But remember, this is first to three. Do it two more times, but convincing already. And I really like the emphasis on neutral for Kelzo. When I looked at his team, I'm like, yeah, he's definitely going to want to play just Fireball 101. Fireball, Fireball, you jump, I anti-air, I pester you, I uh, stick out normals in certain places. And he's been doing a good job at that. So it's up to Almond here to uh, try to figure out the changes that he needs to adapt to this lame style. Yeah, and it was just really difficult for Clark to do anything, right? Having uh, Trying to lean more into those 2Ds, but it didn't seem to matter. Able to get the backbreaker here, some Oki with the elbow drop, but mm -hmm. jumping out again. And I think an order switch, you know, not not predicting the future or anything, but if Amon was to go down here, I think an order switch would be crucial just to avoid this matchup. Let's see. I mean, he's uh, got her down to the corner. And listen, fireballs aren't a problem if they can't get them out. She's right back out. And this, this spacing here for Athena, got to be very careful because he was mixing up the uh, pressure with the fireballs last time. Yes, indeed. Goes for the reset there. Nice. Jump to the other side. Able to get the command grab. Spends level one. I agree. Just get rid of this character. Get some health back as much as you can. He has got to go. All right, Joe. Joe did such a good job last game. Let's see if we can remake that. Does get clipped, though. J.A. into run-up command grab. He's just vintage Clark. Mm, and it's working out. He's going to jump. Oh, yeah, Okay, good blocks from Kelzo. Up until then, he gets to jump out, though, and this is crucial for him. Where's Sandy just to create that space? Frankensteiner. Yeah, you had to there. Roll through the fireball. Now it's just really back and forth. Almendra trying to push in, trying to go for the shadow strike. He got tossed. Great reaction there from Kelzo, and another great reaction getting with the Frankenstein, but still gets tossed. Oh, it got tossed again. And this is rough. He's going right back to the corner. We built just enough meter for this EX tackle confirm as well. And look at the switch up here, Jobber. Almond on a two-character lead against Kelzo. Yeah, with Clark. Threatening an OCV unless Andy can put a stop to it. The 2A confirms just into the turn punch. Didn't have any meter to go for a tackle. And he's going to have to be super careful in this one as well. Set up those fireballs and the elbows too. There it is. There it is. Yep. Hitting its mark. 
But now I, I suspect that Kelzo is really going to play that lane game, right? Just fireball, run away, try and get Al Almendra to overextend and then punish if you could score a big hit. Or go right on in with EX elbow, just completely the opposite of what I was predicting. He said, watch this. Almost died for it, honestly. Yeah. And he, he goes, he likes that full screen. He likes to just tempt your opponent to come and play their game. And once Almi gets the life leader, really, it's up to uh, Andy to make the approach. But he is doing a good job. The DP confirmed right into the climax. Cash out big. Trying to close the gap there, but now back up against the wall. Huge punish. Yeah, nice guard cancel. It's too far to punish that. And there's the 5C. Wow. Turnaround. Could it be happening here for Kelzo? And if yeah, you're all man, yeah, you don't want to get put in a, a two-game deficit either. Ready, go. Oh no! Bounced off the ground. Oh, the you know what? I'm kind of shocked it wasn't level two in the level three. Yeah. Wait a minute. It's level one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we yeah. go. That's right. That's right. I was a little worried too, but I was like, oh, wait, yeah. No, didn't have, have the meter. There. Didn't have the meter. I don't know what I was thinking. Ooh. But still, not going to kill. Great. Oh, yeah, yeah. He knew it. Kelso was like, yeah, I don't want to guess anymore, bro. Let's go to game three. <laughs> my, brain, my brain thought he quick maxed for a second. So I was like, why didn't you use level two? <laughs> Yo, I mean, you know what it is, though? It's good that he was able to capitalize off the counter hit lunge punch. Because that's one of the changes that he got. And also, Geese has. When Geese does his hop slash, if you counter hit the opponent, you get a ground bounce. Yep. That's something you see often. So, uh, you know, great awareness from Almond to have that confirm ready. But still, I mean, it was enough to get the job done. Even if we didn't quick max there, we still, we were, we're good. We're golden. We're into yeah, game three. And, and go them to know the route, too. Ready? Yeah, for, for sure. For a, for a counter hit that's not very common to see, just having the route ready. Mm hmm. Some people got to be ready for that. I mean, that's what separates the, the intermediate from the high level. I always like to say is knowing your characters confirms at any moment. Counting it confirms in, in general and KOF are so important because of the extra juggle that you get. But now we're right back into the cat and mouse game. Tom and Jerry here. Mm. Being so mm. slow that if you neutral jump these <laughs> even a slight bit too early, you're going to land on it. Yep. Clark could even opt to use the guard point from command grab if he wants to, just to beat the fireball. He won't move anywhere. And I don't think he builds meter, but it's a flex. Yeah, this is not looking too good right now. Oh, but hold on. The X tackle goes for the rolling death cradle instead of going for any Oki. Oh, Phoenix arrows out and that's, yeah. What are you gonna do at that point? She's chasing after you. You have not, uh, you don't have enough health to deal with chip damage and you just know that fireball is backed by a jump absolutely i see chat asking what does what does mature do uh she's a Rekka character Rekka mix-up character yeah, there's quite a bit going on those Rekkas are really good i mean we'll definitely find out on thursday right now iori doesn't care what mature is doing and and lauren in his game because he is trying to get the kill as he does with the scum hey, did he kill her yeah her advice and he like, killed yeah and weren't they like his adopted moms Bro, they're like they're like his spirit animals or something. I don't know. I wish they would haunt me though. Like they haunt him. <laughs> he hates it. Yuri is like not a team player. He's he's beaten up half his teammates at the end of uh, tournaments if they lose. But then he gets roped into a team with uh, Kyo and yeah, Shizuru. Yeah, Shizuru. that's his real mother, Shizuru. That's why he. Uh, that's why he can play nice with Kyo. <laughs> Fireball canceled there from Kelzo. Sticking at that big normal, that standee from Joe. <laughs> Get gripped up again. And he won for the reset again. Java was seeing it two times in the same tournament. One too many scum gills, says Kelzo, though. Goes right into the level two. Go, go, Joe Higashi. Get it in there. Ooh, and you're going to spin meter on, de on death? Damn. That is a huge round there for Kelzo. Right, we have all the resources, right? Because he just needs one bar. 
getting that grip what's gonna matter I think it'd be really smart here for Kelzo just to play that lane game again right whittle down Almandra and get the clock down as well <laughs> it was working up until that one point there but hey still did a nice amount of damage right with 40 seconds on the clock still gonna get that 300 health back which is quite a lot yep it's gonna put him at above 50 percent there it is that's right max powers <laughs> All right, down to Andy versus Yashiro, who's going to get that 2-1 lead. This is the tug-of-war match. Winner of this will control the set. Create the space. If you're a zoner, you got to use those guard cancels immediately. Put them right back into the zone. Nice elbow. He's going to go right back. Oh, no, going to go in. Perhaps smells blood in the water, wants to close things out as fast as he can. Oh, the cross up jump C! Oh, this like is gonna this. hurt. This is gonna hurt so badly, bro. Oh. Hanging on by a thread will be Andy. And he is so fortunate that this level three, like, recessed the screen because he was by the corner, bro. Oh, is able to roll out, but gets caught by the command grab chasing down OTG. Mm, and it's Bro. enough to kill Almond with the optimized combo, saving the day for his team and putting him in the lead of the set. It is 2-1. One more to get his run back against Kula. That grab is so nasty. If they ever make another Marvel game, they need to give Hulk a command grab. That's just that. <laughs> Dude, he. you know what's funny is like, that's the grab he did to Loki in the movie. It the, is uh, in Avengers. Yeah, just give that to it's, him as like a super or something. Who knows? Yeah, it's it's his it's his ult in Marvel Rivals. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. <laughs> his ult is a command grab. That's crazy. Yo, shout out to Marvel Rivals. I know y'all playing it in the chat. I was playing it before we went live earlier. It's a fun game. It is a fun game. It makes me want another Marvel vs. Capcom so bad. I think every, everything Marvel related makes me want to know the Marvel vs. Capcom. You're right. I'm not even an Overwatch guy. and I, I You know, we're probably about it. to play more after this, too. I would, but I got, I'm streaming something else. But I am oh, going to be playing okay. that probably after I'm done streaming. But right now, it's KOF time, baby. It is, it is, it is. Ready? Athena versus Clark off the bat one more time. Uh -oh. I like it. Chasing down her hop backs so with your own hop forward. She said, where you going, Ma? He is very aggressive to get that phone number. Gotta be careful. I don't want to get eaten by a 2C there. Oh, oh out of range. Sorry, I respect the try, though. All right, the, scoop. Hesitation. the hesitation on that B Argentine backbreaker just catches everybody. Whoa, I didn't even know what side she was on. Seconds left. Psycho shoot, but no follow up. Oh my god, the kick right after. Able to connect. Almendra just overextending a bit too much. Tried to go for the shatter strike, throwing away the meter and Clark's life. Mm. It's all gone. Great clap back from Kelzo. Was, uh, Clark taking the point lead it was definitely his downfall in the last two games. He's gonna need Athena to stay alive as best she can. Of course, oh, I no, say that as she is getting lit. Yeah. <laughs> she is getting lit right now by the Maiden Masher. Ugh. Yeah, no reflex for you. <laughs> I try to reflect the fist. Can't do that. How did Imagine? that not trade, but Shingo Kick traded? Poor. Poor Shingo, bro. Yeah. Sometimes you're the comic relief character. You know, it just it is, it is what it is. All right, hop CD. Trying to put Kelsa right into the corner. Yeah, even with the guard cancel escaping. Taco is going to connect. Ooh. Goes for it again. And Almond doing a great job against Joe. Has to bait out something. Look at the play here. Yeah, you got baited, sir. And this is good. The condition in coming to fruition. Almond is on set point. Kelzo needing Andy to put the team on his back. This is his last chance if he wants to get even further in this bracket. Because we are in top three. We are in the money. But now it's about who gets more money. 
who gets that chance to try and take down Kula. You know Almendra wants that opportunity. Sure, they both do. Oh, the stubby 2C from Andy. Let me get oh, a buff one now. Jump scare with the EX elbow. Ah. Immediately lands into DP. We are scrambling now, Rome. Did you see him just running at you? Oh! I'm not sure what happened there. I think he might have thought we were going for double hot pressure. Oh this, my god, you're dead. You're 100% dead. Yuri Yagami gonna see it through for uh, uh, Alimandra. Almond, I'm just gonna keep calling the homie Almond as he moves on into Grand Finals. Getting the run back against Kula. The duel on maybe to, uh, you know, pull him out if he needs to get the dub. But yeah, Robert, I mean, uh, another just really strong neutral heavy character. Great fireball. Stan CD while getting nerfed. Uh, it's still a great uh, poke tool. And his corner conversions are not bad. His biggest weakness is he does no damage. Yeah. No damage at all compared to Rio. They're both practicing the same martial arts. So I don't know why he didn't get the damage. But here we go. Grand finals time. I mean, bro, you see Rio's arms once again, compared to Robert. <laughs> He's not eating that double chicken breast and asparagus diet, bro. He's got to get on it. Robert's a dex build. <laughs> all right. Rio's yeah, all strength. Right? He's all strength, yeah. What day is today, Rio? Arms. But it was arms yesterday, I know. <laughs> wow, but here we go into a back throw. Robert does have some respectable corner carry, though, I will say. Yeah. We're not going to see it because he is going to die. Yeah, just absolutely pulled <laughs> there right at the bat. Uh, if Kula loses this, I'm predicting we're going straight back to do along. Oh, easily. Faster you get the set over with, you know what I mean? You ain't got to you, you, you gotta lose six games. You only gotta win three. You don't wanna run things too long. We see these Yori come out too. Yeah, right into the fireworks. Into the kill with the DP. Didn't even have to spend another EX. Picture perfect routing there from Kula to shut down Yori. Get him out of here. In comes Clark still. Yeah, that throw. Yeah, we saw it last time these two played. Kula just jumping, having like a 95% rate of just reading the throws from Alejandra and jumping out. So, Ali Mendra. I'm so sorry. I'm going to say Almond. I keep messing up the player's name. Almendra. There we go. Yeah, Almendra, like Almond. That's all. Almendra. I apologize. I right, 2D, but the DP immediately. Kula not showing any respect to Almendra's pressure. Bro, it even sounds like he says mustard at the start there. Mustard. <laughs> big, big Kendrick Lamar fan is Orochi Yashiro. I believe it, honestly. Could be. He likes that type of uh, chaos. He's big into it. Oh, huge whiff. Yeah, we're done. This is, this is over. <laughs> That's like stance collette damage there. Oh. Dying with five bars. Can't take it into game two, but Kula with the Iori still clean as possible as, 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 as it could be. I mean, he played this character, I'd say a large portion of this game. So, and of course in older games as well, it, playing Iori is literally riding a bike. Yeah, I was about to say, doesn't everyone have an Iori technically? Everybody, everybody. If you don't know it, but you got one in you. Yeah, well, Kula already starting things off strong, making this climb even harder for Almendra. And because we won, has to stick it out with Robert. Oh, yeah. Uppercut. Yeah, but we can see these uh, changes for Robert, hopefully here. Seeing the uppercuts come out to play. Yeah, look at the corner carry he gets from those spin kicks. Oh, this is big. We're going to build anywhere juggle? Oh, oh. going for a reset instead. That was kind of a nasty reset, Rome. Mm. Shutting down Iori. That was a dominating performance. Full health, first blood for Kula. Uh-oh. Robert and getting a game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got kind of dog walk game one. Is that anywhere juggle? See, his doesn't even like pop you up so you can get like a conversion like Rio. Oh, 
Ah, we're getting the right reads here. Oh, another one! Almond Art, he's cracking right now. A perfect game from Cool as Robert. This is insane considering what we saw from Robert in game one. He was like, my controller was unplugged. That's what Robert said. Now he's got his controller in. He is cooking. That's the big, big brother. <laughs> Six B anti air. Another perfectly placed DP. Alamendra just can't see to get anything started. Rome, dude, and that's the thing. I mean, we talk about Robert being a weaker character, right? Getting nerfed, but still, in KOF, if your neutral is clean, we're gonna clean. That was a really clean conversion off the counter hit. But yeah, a character like Robert can still be as effective. And that's still a lot of damage too, right? Even with all that scaling. Oh my God. <laughs> it looked like Kula tried to jump on Wake Up and got caught. Yeah. And again, the awareness. Alamendra real good with those counter hit conversions going into the anti-air grabs. Wake Up DP Whoa. into super. Pop the collar, baby. Not done. But a Robert OCB, of course. Of course the overhead was coming because why not, Jobber? There was like that the last 15 to 20 seconds of that round, there was no blocking going on. <laughs> wow. Robert OCV in 2024. Is this in our future, guys? Is Robert going to get buffed to the top yet again? Will we see more of this? I don't know about that, but we will see more of it right now as Kula that is still on set point. That is a very, very good question, Rome. I I can't wait to see how some of these quote-unquote weaker characters end up uh, shaking out mm -hmm. going to the next patch. But OCV with Robert, after Robert got absolutely destroyed in game number one, is an incredible answer back by Kula. Alamendra now backed up against the ropes. This is it. Yeah. Now we're never. Break it. Ooh, and this is good. We're going to get the corner carry as well. Like, we might be getting a, re a repeat of game one. Oh, they're up a cut, though. Yeah, yeah DP. DP there as well. Knocked down into the corner. Ooh. Okay, he tried to catch a black in it. There's a little bit of a gap if you do Robert's overhead. It's a dive kick where you can catch your opponent mashing. And yeah, Robert's going down after that impressive uh, performance the last game. Good start for uh, uh, Almendra. Yeah, I think the difference that we saw there was uh, in the in the game that Kula won with uh, the OCB, he did use a lot more fireballs against Yori in particular, right? Which we didn't really see that time. But Kula's Yori coming on through, immediately putting hands on Almendra. Hands indeed. Perfect fight for the dub. Burn to fight. <laughs> Last thing you want to do is be burning after Iori. And he's going to go. No way. Oh, not the drop we needed. Yeah, the oh, worst piece of drop. Like, come on, Kula's going to make you pay dearly with your life. Park still is dead as soon as this round got started. Bro, Bro that was nearly a one touch kill. And now everything is on the shoulders here of almendra's final character can orochi yashiro do it he's got the power of orochi orochi will never die but orochi yashiro can we're gonna test his religion right here and see if he believes he's gonna need to do it here just to stay alive okay does it cancel whoa that hit from behind oh this is bad this is really bad. You're gonna be in the corner too for the reset. Oh, the Rekka's didn't build enough meter. Encroaching on victory gets the counter hit confirmed. I mean, this is gonna slow down the process. It won't be enough to kill him, but just gives us a little bit more breathing room to think about what's coming up next. Because this moment is going to be absolutely crucial for the tournament life of Almendra. I also appreciate that it stopped the clock. The level yes. 3 stopped the clock, which means that Almendra gets more health back, shutting down Yori here than he would have otherwise. Perfect play down to the anchor. This is the last chance for Almendra to stay alive. You have to make it happen now. You need it. You need it. Final round. A hefty Benimaru. Loads of bark. No, he rolled into his own grave. 
Kula for the third week in a row will be your what Tampa Never Sleeps Mike? King Please of Fighters 15 out. champion. Well oh, done, a winner is you. Three in a row. One, baby. two, three Kill weeks in a row. A turkey, a triple threat. Kula proving to be unstoppable and crowning themselves as the most dominant player at the end here of season two.